I'm not kidding when it comes to the thumbnail. Encouraging teammates. Most of these teammates are just... And I got a bunch of evidence of this. I just started noticing just what rank a lot of these dumb teammates are. Why am I pair? I'm Paragon. Why am I paired with Cavalier, Uncollected, and Thronebreaker Trash in Sector 6 Encouragements? 5-2. A lot of these bastards don't even fit the damn recommended stats. I see a lot of these morons being 40k and under. And a lot of these players are just rank 4 trash. Just so freaking me. WHY CAN'T YOU RETURN IT FUCKS STAY IN THE LOW SECTORS WHERE YOU BELONG! I damn sure am not holding back on what I'm going to say. These motherfuckers belong in sectors 1, 2, and 3. Yet you people plague the hell out of sector 5 and 6. You dumb shits will never get to zone 15 with your trash teams. And one of these morons had the nerve to tell me, Let me play. Let you play what? These weak ass players, they only survive five zones. At best. That is the highest they can go. And I'll say it again without blowing out the mic. These retarded fucks don't belong in these high sectors. Now when I quit these incursion runs, I honestly just now noticed that you can block players. You can block these weak links after you quit. So don't fully leave the screen. I hope blocking all of these morons actually works. And I'm paired with players that are the same progression rank as me. Other Paragon. In fact, in one encourages run today with one Paragon player, he did work. We not only got to zone 15, we got slightly over that. And I didn't have any expectations for the rest of the zones after that. I would have kept going too, but then I didn't freaking cheat. Still, this player freaking helped. And in some zones, I didn't mind handling the bosses while the teammate got to get some health back. At least he did freaking work. And I almost forgot. The damn crashes or why this encouraged run ended when it did. I'm convinced the crashes are intentional. To screw up an encourages run and make you spend for those fucking bundles that have higher potions and revives for this. But back to these trash teammates. They will never make it to the high zones, not without fucking spending or being completely lucky. That one run is just perfect. And yeah, one of these trash teammates was a Paragon player going in with freaking Ebony Maul and other crap. I wouldn't say Ebony Maul is trash, but he's only good for being a defender. I don't know why these trash teammates would rather ruin encouragements for the rest of us when they should be the ones to go in solo. What's that new co-op mode coming? Realm events? That is going to be hell unless blocking these dumb players actually works. As of right now, I can't say for sure that it works. And to people that say I always complain, Answer me this, when has Kabam in recent years done something that's actually positive? They haven't done a positive thing since Gwenpool at the movies. That was years ago. Meanwhile, they refuse to fix the lag and the crashes because of their goddamn whales. And this new mode, the Crucible, is more whale loving shit. You can only use one chap per fight in a long path and just the legendary difficulty has the good shit. So, 32 to 34 fights total for mainly a rank 3 7 star gem, which these whales don't need. The rest of us do. You need tons of rank 5s and 7 star rank 2s and 3s, and only whales are set with that kind of roster. While it will take months for the rest of us to get a lot of rank 5s alone.